Evening everyone. Alright, the problem is baseball with a mass of 1.44 kilograms is pitched from the mound at 43 meters per second. The batter then hits the ball with the force of 6.5 times 10 to the third newtons. If the ball made contact with the ball for 0 0.0013 seconds, how fast did the ball go after being hit? Well, things we know. 1.44 kilograms is the mass of the ball. The initial velocity is 43 meters per second. The force exerted on the ball 6.5 times 10 to the third newtons. And the time taken, you know, that the ball made contact with the bat is 0 0.0013 seconds. We need to find the second velocity. Okay, some equations that we might need. Our mass times velocity equals the change of momentum, which is equal to inertia, which is equal to force times the change in time. Delta, delta momentum equals final force minus initial force and mass times velocity equals momentum these are the things we know alright so let's begin by determining the momentum alright we started off with mass times velocity the mass was 0.144 kilograms we multiply that by the initial velocity, which is 43 meters per second. We multiply them together and you get 6.192 joules. Now the reason there's a negative sign there is because in the end one of them is going to need to be negative. And since that's coming towards the batter and not what we're trying to find at the end, it makes more sense for this to be negative. Because then when the batter hits the ball, it's going to be going in a positive force, you know, that way. Alright, so we now have this negative 6.192 joules. Next, let's find the initial velocity, or sorry, initial momentum. So we take the force, which was 6.5 times 10 to the third newtons, multiply that by the time which was 0 0.0013 seconds. Multiply, multiply them together and you get about 8.45 kilogram meters per second. Now, you might be asking, what do we do with these two? Simple, really. Move over to here, and we know that the equation is change in momentum equals final momentum minus initial momentum. So that's 8.45 is the, uh, the change. That equals the final momentum minus the initial. But we don't know the final. We're trying to figure that out. We're trying to figure out the velocity there. And since we're subtracting a negative, it's a positive. So next step, which is done down here, is we divide the uh, 8.45 kilogram meters per second as seen here divide that by the uh, 6.192 you get 2.258 joules which is equal to the final momentum which is equal to once again mass times velocity but that's the velocity the second velocity or the final velocity so we divide 2.258 joules by 0 0.144 and we get the, you know, there it is there. That approximately equals 15.681 meters per second. In reality, it equaled a much larger decimal, but for the sake of this, 15.681 should cut it. It really equaled 
something about 15.680555, you know, etc. So this is how fast the ball was going outward in the field after the batter hit the ball with the bat. And that is how you find that. Thank you.